All right, friends, quick video today. The question is, Professor, why in the world would anybody spend $2,500, that's right, $2,500, on a single fishing rod? What the heck is going on? We're gonna break down the science of what makes a rod. $2,500 and argue why you should consider actually getting one yourself. That's if you wanna catch the big ones. That's what we're gonna discuss in today's video. All right, Professor, so let's break it down. I think we should start with the reel itself, what goes into the reel, and then we're gonna talk about what goes into the rod and why anyone would spend $2,500 on a reel. Go ahead, take it away. I'm sure I'm gonna ask some questions. All right, so first off, we've got a Penn International 136. Uh, our friends at Green Top Sporting Goods out there in Ashland. Hope Thank you, Green Top. This. Yeah. Uh, this retails for about twelve ninety nine. Yeah, about thirteen hundred bucks. Yeah. But with inflation these days, who knows where it's headed? Right. And the reel is not the only expense that you have. Mm -hmm. um, this line that we put on here, we've got two hundred pound hollow core backer uh, on there to start off with, and then we've got the mono on top of that, which is one hundred and thirty pound, one hundred and thirty pound mono. And uh, just the line alone is about $400. Ay, 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 Yeah, so it gets up there. So we've got $1,300 at least for the reel, another at least three, $400 for the line. What makes a reel, other than the fact that it's big, what makes it cost $1,300? Is something special, magical about a reel like this? Well, you have to think about these fish that we're catching with this reel. I mean, it can weigh upwards of a thousand pounds. Yeah. And that's a lot of pressure. So there's a lot of internal gears in here and it has to be strong. This particular reel has a two speed function on it where you can, it's got a low gear where you can really grind on that fish. And it has a high speed. So, you know, if the fish give you some slack, you can click it over. We've already used both used on both. these on these bluefin yeah. that we have caught. And so if we downgrade it in size, cause you go from 130 to an 80, That's and right. then it just goes south from there. Yeah. You try to catch a bluefin on these 500 pounders on an 80, you might be able to do it, but if you get any less than that, probably not gonna happen, correct? Well, the biggest thing is line capacity. Yeah. This holds a lot of line with that hollow core backer on there. And um, that is the main thing. You can wear a fish down and catch him on anything, but there's a point where he takes too much line and you don't have any more Sayonara. Line. Yeah. There in your spool. Okay, so we've got, like you said, we've got at least 1500 bucks in all of this here. Right and the reel in line. And let's talk about the rod. This is a custom rod from our great friend from Killer Bee Customs, Doug Gray, the magician himself. Right. Hopefully you've seen his videos. He's with us all the time. But this isn't just a standard rod. You wanna talk about some of the things you like about it that I'm gonna riff on it myself. Yeah, well, Doug did an amazing job with the color scheme and everything. He, it's boat name specific. He put the boat name on there. But one thing I do like is this full grip. It's not round, mm -hmm. it has an octagon shape, which a lot of times your hands, when you get wet and it's slipping around like this, this you can actually grab on and have, have some leverage. And of course it has the bent butt, which is made to sit right in a swivel rod holder. So we can move that so bad boy. So we can move it and, and you can follow the fish whichever direction he goes, you know, and that makes which it Which is real. wildly important. Very important. And I know with this particular rod, we've got these Winthrop rollers roller guides that are, I believe, about three, $400 total for those two. But them bad boys are nice. They are high end. They are. They are nice. The material is nice. So it's not cheap, but it just means it's gonna last a long time. That's right, yeah. And if those roller guides put a lot less stress on the line. You know, instead of it dragging across something, it's actually rolling, rolling the line over top of it. So it extends the life of your line. And plus it inhibits where you might get a part, you know, from friction. Yeah. So ultimately too, if you think about it, we got this as a custom rod because we want it to represent the brand that is speechless, 
speechless sport fishing. We want people to see the ride, just know the boat right away. And to me, we're gonna have these things for a long time. Yep. They're gonna be a part of the boat, the community. We're gonna have many people take photos with them that are watching these videos right now. We want it immediately to stand out. So I think it's worth it to go the extra mile and to make your, your, your rods, your reels, just look a little bit special to match that brand and that vibe that you have on your boat. That's right. Well, hopefully that helps you get a sense as to why in the world we would spend that much money, $2,500, on a rod reel setup because you catch monster fish. As always, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share. We appreciate that you're a part of the community. Until next time, my friends, stay salty.